Yo, 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 you too. What to do? Hydrate 69, aka your monster, mobile boy, back with another video. And today I'm going to be breaking down the mobile news. We got some good stuff, some bad stuff for Fortnite Mobile, but I'll be breaking it down, making it as easy to understand as possible, as well as giving it to you guys as quickly as possible, just so I don't waste any of your time. So make sure to drop a like. Let's try and hit 330 likes. I think we can do it based on last video as well as comment down below if you guys are still playing mobile because i've seen a lot of people quit recently and it's pretty sad to see especially since we're so close to the trials so i highly recommend if you guys have played fortnite mobile up until this point don't stop now and with that being said guys big shout out to the coldest water sponsoring the video once again make sure to check them out i got links down below if you want to win one as well as if you want a discount 10 percent off use code mobile when checking out but it's honestly the best water bottle i've used so far just because how strong it is i can bring it everywhere and it's just great to have on the stream or on the go so go check them out with that being said let's get it so up first, the trials are a week and one day away from posting this. That's starting May 3rd. This is the date we've been waiting for for a long time. And of course, they will be streaming these on the Zoom trials as far as I'm aware. And you guys already know I'll be streaming those as much as I can. I think there'll be multiple hour streams, but I'm going to just try and give my best to break it down for you guys if you attend stream, letting you know exactly what they're talking about and what's going on, as well as I'll be making videos on the news like this where I'm just letting you guys know exactly what happened, all of the important things that happened during the trial so you guys aren't missing anything and you can kind of form your own opinion on who you want to win between Epic as well as Apple. I put a community post about this out last night, but I just wanted to quickly break it down again for anybody who didn't really understand. So the game should not be returning on May 8th. The reason people were thinking that is the trials start on May 3rd. They last five days long, so that would take them from May 3rd to May 7th. And then on that next day, it would be May 8th. They thought People thought the trial would be over. It's only that one week when actually the judge stated a long time ago, if you've been paying attention to my videos and really watching them all the way through, I've said this multiple times, that the trials, according to the judge, should last two to three weeks. So after those two to three weeks, that's when I expect Fortnite Mobile to return if we don't have a retrial. And next up in the news, make sure to drop a like if you haven't already. But Golden recently announced that he's done playing Fortnite Mobile, and this is honestly really sad to see. He was really one of the only big mobile YouTubers left who was really holding it down, staying on mobile, and keeping you guys updated with the news. Obviously kind of similar videos to ours, and it sucks to see him go, but based on his video, it looks like he's still going to be reporting mobile news, just probably playing on different platforms like PC or console or something. But it's honestly crazy. Let me know what you guys think about other mobile YouTubers leaving, just because I'm curious if once we get Fortnite Mobile back, which I do think we will get Fortnite Mobile back eventually, if people are gonna come back and play, like if the sweaty players like uh, Bale, Flutter, like all these really good guys who are known for like placing really high in tournaments consistently and just being insane players to be on a iPad or iPhone, if they're actually gonna come back, because I feel like at this point, people have grinded so long, um, the really good guys have started playing on PC and stuff that they're probably not going to want to come back on mobile unless it's easy cash, which I think could be a good thing for Fortnite mobile, just because I think mobile will have to do like some big crazy tournaments, some cash cups with big rewards if they want people to come back and really get people to start playing the game again. And I would also suspect that instead of just like hard competitions that you have to be really good to win money on like cash cups for example that they would add stuff that anybody can kind of win because i think that would get the most people back as possible and that's obviously what they're going to be looking for since so many people have stopped playing so if they did like some sort of like creative or like fun event where it didn't take a lot of skill to be able to win i think that could be pretty huge for fortnite mobile and wouldn't be like shocked if we saw this in the future but let me know what you guys would think about that down below in the comments that's going to be it for me today with the fortnite mobile news make sure to drop a like comment down below all that good stuff and obviously subscribe with noties if you haven't already to get the updated fortnite mobile news shout out once again to the coldest water keeping it cool and holding me down staying hydrated and i'll see you guys next time peace